Hello, today is April 5th, 2023. Trading is closed. We'll always start with our disclaimer. It's my trading plan for Thursday, April 6th, 2023. Please remember I can be wrong. Trade at your own risk. Look for the pattern with the early low today, which is this. Tomorrow should have the early high. We had some targets, but I thought they probably wouldn't print and they didn't. We'll forget the optional target and keep our 41.26.27. We said this was a negative pattern, and regardless of how we close, we should trade low. And all that happened. It's what we said. Now, we didn't get the gap and prompt move outside yesterday's range. Um, got a gap, we moved outside the range, but I wouldn't call it prompt. So neither one of the commonest things happened, but everything else worked out. During the day, we got an ultimate buy signal in the morning. That's enough to satisfy it. You usually get more, but you don't have to. We did get a buy signal here. This delivered more than the minimum, but the minimum printed pretty soon. It wasn't really that far away. And we don't have anything for tomorrow from this pattern. I'm not certain of the degrees of these waves, but we're assuming we've completed an ABC and we're starting a wave down. Let's focus in on the last wave. Just ignore the colors. I don't know what the degree of these waves are. Last wave, we have an A and a B and a C, and we stopped right at this channel. So now let's focus in just on this last wave C. We have an A, a B, and a C, and so far we have an A, B, C for wave A, and somewhere I think there'll be a B and then a C. And as far as what the degree of these waves are, I don't know. Well, this really, if this can be held tomorrow, is a bullish pattern, calls for a higher price, not necessarily a higher close. We gap down, traded lower, Closed over all these lows, even closed over all these lows. It's a rejection of this break if it can be maintained. Now, if you gap and undercut this promptly tomorrow, that the pattern's killed. Otherwise, we should trade higher. That isn't a guarantee that we close higher, though. Well, tomorrow's pattern has a early high. We could still gap down. Typically, it's a rally day with a high in the final hour. If you fail, it's a straight line drop. We gap down, hit lower low, but closed over all the intraday lows. So if it's maintained at tomorrow's open, it's a bullish pattern. Should see higher prices print, even if we don't close higher. But if you gap promptly undercut today's low, that kills the pattern early. The wave counts also compatible with a rally day followed by further declines. If the count's correct, yesterday's high should hold, ideally. I should have said ideally here. The employment report comes out on Friday when the market's closed. It can be a market mover, but we won't know until Monday how it affects things. So I doubt I'll be holding any position over the weekend. We'll see. But uh, ideally, we're going to see this high hold, but there could be a recovery tomorrow unless we take this low out early. Tomorrow's pattern has the early high. It tends to be a real today. Failure is a straight line drop, and that's today's call. 